In this section, we'll learn how to edit events or parts. If we look at the audio events that we've recorded earlier, we notice that the bass track has an audio event on it called audio1 underscore 1. This is because the name of the track was originally audio1, and the suffix underscore 1 means that this is the first audio file to be recorded on the track. Naming your audio files keeps your project clean and easy to understand. Let's rename audio1 underscore 1 to bass. First, choose the object selection tool. Click on the event, audio1 underscore 1. Make sure the event info line is turned on. The event info line gives us detailed information about the object or objects that are currently selected in the timeline. Change audio1 underscore 1 to bass underneath the word file. This changes the audio file's name directly on the hard drive. Notice that our audio event now says bass. You resize an event by adjusting the start and or end of the event. Used in combination with the split tool, this is usually all the editing you'll need. Position your cursor over one of the squares at the bottom right or bottom left of the event. Click and adjust the bass event so that it lines up with electric guitar one. Splitting is used to cut events. You can split or cut an event wherever you want or split them evenly to bars and beats. Splitting with snap off allows you to cut anywhere without locking to any kind of reference. Choose the split tool. Make sure snap is off and not highlighted. You can now split or cut the audio anywhere by clicking on the event. Undo your actions by choosing undo split from the edit menu as many times as you use the split tool. Make sure that there are no splits in the base event anymore. Having snap on allows you to split or cut to a time reference. For example, if you want to cut the electric guitar track to bars or beats. Make sure snap is on. If you are having trouble seeing anything beyond the tool buttons, right click in the top bar that the tool buttons are on. This allows you to change what you see at the top of the project page. Customization is at the heart of Cubase. Choose default so that if you changed anything, it will return to the default settings. Next, right-click again and choose Automation Mode so that it is hidden from view. Now we can see enough for us to continue on with the Split tool. With most of the Snap features in view, choose Grid to the right of the Snap button. This means we'll be snapping to a grid. Next, choose Bar as the grid type. This means you'll split things into bars. Let's cut on bars 6, 10, and 14. Select Undo Split from the Edit menu and return the base to the way it was. Hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. Click on the base event at bar 3 and the length of the split will be repeated until the end of event. You can try this with Snap on or off. Using the Glue tool allows you to join events together that have been cut using the Split tool. Choose the Glue tool. Glue together the split events and the electric guitar track by clicking just before each split. Let's make sure we glue all of them. Moving events allows us to simply move an event from one part of the project page to another. Choose the Object Selection tool. Click and hold the mouse once on an empty area of the project page. Drag to create a selection of all the events. Then let go of the mouse. With all of the events selected, click and drag them to bar 1. Click once on an empty area of the project page so that no event is selected. Copying can be used to copy an event to another area on the project page. If you want to make many copies, see the section on repeating coming up next. To copy an audio or MIDI event, click on the event you wish to copy and choose Copy from the Edit menu. In our case, let's choose the Electric Guitar 1 event. Position the cursor at the point in the project that you wish the copy to be made. We'll put our cursor at bar 17. Make sure you click on the track that you want the copied event to be copied to. Choose Paste from the Edit menu. Always note the track you have selected before choosing Paste. Now we have two guitar events. Note that we also copied the takes that were in the guitar track. We can use these later. With the Object Selection tool, hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. We are going to copy the Guitar 2 events. Remember that there are three events since we use stack recording to record them. 
Select all of the Guitar 2 events by clicking and dragging as described in Moving Events. Click and hold the selected events and drag to the new position you wish the copy to be made. Repeats are great for repeating something over and over directly after the event you want to repeat. Click the Base event with the Object Selection tool. Choose Repeat from the Edit menu. In the dialog that opens, choose how many copies you wish to make by increasing the Count field. You can choose to select Shared Copies if you want. Shared Copies allow you to make aliases to the original event. This means that if you make changes to the original